Good morning, happy Monday. I'm sure many people aren't too happy that it's Monday. If you if you've got a job, you're probably happy you're going back to work. If you don't have a job, you're hopefully you're out there looking. Market's about to get open. I'm about to get to start working. I've got work tonight at the hospital, but I did want to release this little bit, this little video. I was thinking about this a scripture the other day. And of course, we see a lot related to as many divisive sort of arguments that are being made to the vaccine, to resources, etc. And of course, it always brings this scripture to mind with the Apostle Paul talking to Christians in his day. He says, now I urge you, brothers, to watch out for those who create divisions and obstacles that are contrary to the teaching that you've learned. And then he, he gives the admonition to turn away from them, them being those type of people who want to be basically create divisions within either communities, within the church, with among peoples. And then he goes on to say, he says, for such people are not serving our Lord Christ. He says, but their, but their own appetites. And that's, that's 100% the truth when it comes to politics, when it comes to finance. Uh, typically, when you start to see people who are creating a division, with, for the purpose of creating division, it's typically because they have an agenda. As the Apostle Paul says, when he says he's, that there, these people are doing these things for their own appetites. And then he goes on to say, by smooth talk and, fla and flattery, uh, they deceive the hearts of the naive. And so one of, one of the reasons that I brought this up was, of course, it was a recent Wall Street Journal article talking about the vaccine distribution here in New York skews racial lines, right? And this, of course, this is the, for the purpose of creating frictions between whites and blacks, between whites and Hispanics. And of course, the article goes on to talk about how uh, blacks and Latinos lag in vaccinations and have died uh, at the hands of the virus at more than twice the rates of whites. And of course, what they don't tell you about why blacks and Latinos die at a higher rate is because of the types of diets. Uh, most of the people who end up dying from the virus are typically individuals who have a history of diabetes and who have a history of high blood pressure and have a history of high cholesterol. And so those types of comorbidities are typically higher in blacks and Hispanic, primarily related to one, lack of exercise, two, because of the diet, the diet that is typically heavy in rice uh, fried fr and fried foods. Uh, typically higher in salt. You know, Hispanics use a lot of salt or they utilize adobo. They typically eat a lot of canned foods, right? Rice and rice and beans are typically a staple within Hispanic communities. And of course, because one, you have salt, two, canned foods that also have higher salt, you end up with uh, high blood pressure, typically eat a lot of fatty, saturated foods. A lot of the food is either fried pork, um, fried chicken, etc. And so this is typically not what you see in white American households. They typically eat a different sort of diet. And of course, typically lean more towards being skinnier, more, uh, more uh, a stress on being fit and exercise, etc. Now, of course, typically this is information that they don't review with you or give you so that you make an informed decision. Instead, as the scripture said, that these individuals have their own agenda, right? They have their own appetite that they're trying to fulfill, which is to create division among people here in New York, primarily between minorities and of course, uh, white Americans that live here in New York. But of course, when it, even if you just look at the statistics in terms of the ratio of white people to the ratio of Hispanics to the ratio of blacks, you can see that obviously even from the statistics standpoint that there are more white people overwhelmingly that live within the state. And so obviously, right, in just about anything, you're going to have a disparity when the overwhelming, uh, pr you know, population is of a particular demographic. It would be like, you know, going to an African country and then saying, you know, uh, you know, the vaccine is being given to more blacks than whites. Well, obviously, because that's the demographic of the area that you're talking about. But again, the purpose of creating all of these, you know, even, you know, the Wall Street Journal does it, the mainstream media does it, you have politicians that do it. And it's solely for the purpose of creating divisions among one another, because they don't want people united uh, they don't want people united against them. They would rather uh, have you have us fighting against fighting against each other 
over a vaccine, of course, that they are in charge of, right? This is another thing that they don't talk about. The people who are responsible for directing, send X amount of vaccines here, uh, open up a hub over here so that individuals could get vaccinated. Make sure that this particular hospital that is located in an area that is primarily Blacks and Hispanics, make sure that, that those vaccines or whatever resources go to these particular particular areas. These are the individuals, the mayor, the governors, the local politicians. They're the ones who are primarily responsible uh, for the distribution of such resources, whether it's the vaccine, money, uh, for, et cetera. And yet these are the very same ones who will then turn around and say, well, look, we're, we're, we have, uh, you know, black people aren't getting their fair share or, or Hispanics aren't getting their fair share. But they're the ones who are responsible for the inequity. They themselves are responsible instead of saying, well, we're going to open up more hubs in this area. We're going to offer more education in this area uh, so that blacks and Hispanics have a, a better opportunity. They don't do any of that. And so it's important to keep in mind that a lot, especially nowadays, especially nowadays, the propaganda machine is basically in overdrive because the politicians don't, especially not Cuomo, politicians don't want the people to be able to focus on them. Right? There's always all sorts of articles about why Cuomo allowed all of these nursing home patients who were infected to basically leave the hospital and then go back to the nursing home where that where that basically that infection could spread like wildfire he then went and lied about the numbers and basically suppressed a lot of the information coming forward so that he did not look bad right this is what he is primarily responsible for and so they would rather have people worried about hey i'm, I'm not getting my i'm not getting my fair share or my mom didn't get the vaccine but your mom didn't the only reason that she got it is because she's white and, and we're hispanic or we're black right so they don't want people focusing on the more important issues, which is primarily those who are in positions of power who shouldn't be. Like for example, Cuomo here in New York and de Blasio. These are individuals that should never have positions of authority because they don't know how to wield such authority. They're not individuals who are for the people. They are for basically politicians. They are for big business. They are for division. And so as the scripture says that we want to stay clear from these sort of individuals, not paying attention to what the, to the divisive acts and the divisive uh, sort of conversations that they want to draw us as minorities in. As a Hispanic, I hear about this all the time. Uh, when I bring up topics like this, people remind me, well, remember, remember that you're a brown person, right? You're not white. And this is an irrelevant argument, but it serves to create division. And this is one of the most important things, especially if you're a person who believes in God, you believe in what the Bible says, you have you know, your, your focus is on, uh, on the scriptures and not on what men are saying. We want to keep this scripture in mind about not paying attention to watch out for those who want to create division.